All right, first things first. The real drip skin is real. Okay, the real drip skin is real. But we have confirmation on the timeline for the banners. And that's what we really, really care about, right? So let's see this. Uh, let me get the screenshot going. All right, this is the banner schedule. So the 25th, which is extremely close. What is that? Seven days. So it will be Langris with skill page and Yuno and his skill page. <laughs> Langris, let's fucking go. So it's going to be. Yep, so Langris and skill page and then it's going to be the red, you know, and uh, his skill page, not some of you know, for anyone that would ask. <laughs> so. We get Charmy and Noel on the 6th. I've been telling you guys that season four is coming out on the 6th. Now, this is the crazy thing. Season four is only 14 days. That's insane. <laughs> That's a little bit less than this season, actually. So we're getting season five right after <laughs> so season four is really important for charmy and noel uh charmy if you're gonna run burn team and then noel just universally is just really really good and we're gonna have the skill page banner for them so oh and then guldre and despair veto okay so they're both gonna release at the same time that's kind of what i was thinking so no queen of witches okay so no Queen of Witches. <laughs> Did I know that Langris is Fenrir's brother? Well, I never seen Black Clover in my life, so thanks for spoiling me. Anyways, um, so Guldre and Despair Veto, I kind of figured that they'd be coming out next month because they're not currently in the glossary. So if you if you guys go in the glossary, right, <clears throat> you can see what characters are actually coming out. So currently, right now. Only Langris and Yuno are in our glossary for the game. So I kind of figured that those will be the characters that are coming out during this patch. When the next patch drops for season four, you guys can check the glossary again. Just to make sure the characters are out. So every time the game gets updated or patch, always just check the glossary. You'll know the characters are coming out. Okay, there's also new information. New information is dropping at the same time. We're not done. Hold on. There's new information regarding Black Asta. Give me a second. I'm bringing it up on the screen right now. And then Black Asta, Black Asta is coming out on the 12th. So. Got 14 days for Black Asta. But. You guys called it. You guys called it and it is happening. It's actually happening. There will be a step up summon for Black Asta. So me, who just used 600 fucking premium black crystals on season three, I feel like a fucking dumbass. But I'm gonna get it back up. <laughs> there will be a step up summons for Black Asta and a separate for the skill page. Now Apparently, limited tickets are in the files. So as you guys know, on JP, you end up having to, you know, exchange your crystals for the limited tickets just only for Black Costa. How many paid crystals is total step up is 6,000. 6,000 paid crystals. So apparently there's going to be Black Asta packs and chapter eight clear pack okay so as you guys know when you clear a chapter at the end of the chapter it asks is like it gives you a pack that you're able to obtain it only lasts for one day so it's kind of crazy and then we get another special crystal pack and the special crystal pack four is basically the 100 tickets i believe or is that no, that's the season pack, right? So special crystal pack should just be the pack with the bunch of the extra black crystals in it. Yep. 
Is Langris good in PvP? Not really. Can use him, but it's not really like one of the main picks that you would go. <laughs> Alright, we get it. You're a Langris sucker. But how do we how do we feel about this? So So in the and also in JP on the files, they already have season ten in the files on JP. So they're trying to cook. So as we all know, season ten is again skip this part if you don't want to get leaked. But season ten is supposed to be uh, Zora and um, Vanessa as well. Uh, it's really, really crazy. I don't even... Black Asta actually getting a step up. It's like we were kind of expecting it. I kind of didn't want it to happen. Because <laughs> obviously it's just cash grab. But this is just making it even more and more. To where... Literally, I'm just going to skip. Just skip this damn season. Really, what's what's honestly really crazy to me is that the next season is really, really short. It's 14 days, and then we're going to go right into Magna and Charlotte. So for those that want to be like more optimal on like what you should summon for, if you care more about PvP side, obviously PvE is not going to be that much of an issue. So Langris, obviously pull Langris if you don't have a really good green DPS like Raya or Hateful Fauna. Hateful Fauna should definitely be coming out the end of next month though so i don't know it's kind of up to you if you want to wait or not uh you know is used for burn teams he, he is used along with black Hosto with queen of witches usual burn team pv pvp team is um halloween charmy black Hosto, queen of witches and you know then we have season four charmy and well season four charmy is burn team noel is like universally better then Charlotte, Noelle can basically go on any teams without having to be max enhanced just because of her kit. Uh, able to take away using your ultimate, uh, disarm, lowering magic attack, dispelling, taunting, like she's actually fucking insane. Black Costa, we all know about Black Costa. They don't come out on the 12th. If you care about Black Costa, he's really, really good. Just, he can clear raid on his own. Really, really good for PvE. Um, me personally, I think he's intended to do what he does, and I think he's really useful in PvE. When it comes to PvP sides of things, if you want to compete at an upper level, obviously you probably want him max enhance, um, at least two, and then you kind of need his skill page to work better than without it. So the most optimal play would probably just get to get uh, Black Asta and the skill page. And Goldre and Despair Vet will come out. These characters you don't need. The Spare Veto is basically just used for combat power ranking. So if you want to compete in combat power ranking, number one team is the Spare Veto, Mars, Swimsuit, Asta, and Radas. That's the number one team on JP right now. It's like 410k combat power. So if you want to compete like that, go ahead and get the Spare Veto. And then Black Asta um apparently the limited tickets are in the file so again how the limited ticket works basically you just exchange your regular black crystals for tickets they're one to one ratio until i think about like the 10th multi so about 100 summons in then they increase in price but it's not like every single time you buy it's going to keep increasing it doesn't work like that i summoned for black us on, on jp it wasn't even like that and then for uh step up obviously if you're a whale black Ops is going to be guaranteed and they have a guaranteed skill page so that's like obviously just free free range at that point then we have the skill page summoned separately 
so we have a bunch of packs coming out hopefully they do the same treatment as in jp where they ended up releasing um like a bunch of like free to play rewards because there were like a lot of selectors there was like two selector mage tickets two skill page selectors so hopefully they add a bunch of the half anniversary events to help free to play players uh, keep up with this as well 